Okay, hello and welcome to another science experiment. This time we're going to be looking at thermohaline circulation. Uh, there is a Word document associated with this, so uh, please email me if you want more information and you'll find that information uh, at the bottom of this YouTube clip comment section. So what we're going to do is we have a fish tank here, ah, it's about 600 mils long. I filled it up with 20 centimetres worth of water in here and you can see that it's kind of lifted up using a couple of wooden blocks. So the first thing we've got to do is just point out where we are in the world. So we have the equator just up here and we are going to have the poles which are just over here. Excellent. This is a very simplified model of how thermohaline circulation works. There are a lot more complexities to this but this gives you the general idea of how, of how uh, convection currents work and how they're associated with the movement of water in our oceans. So the first thing I'm going to do at the equator, I'm just going to add some red food dye just in here and you'll notice that what will happen is that food dye will slowly sink to the bottom. It's just a little bit heavier or a little bit denser than water so that will just go to the bottom and we'll just wait for that to go down there. equator it's a lot warmer because the sun is directly overhead for much more of the time and so I'm just going to simulate that by putting some hot water into a bowl just wipe away the condensation and what you should notice is that as the water heats starts to rise. Excellent. Okay, so that's the equator. What we do now is we are going to simulate what it's like at the poles. And I've got some iced blue water here in salt, salty blue water which has been frozen. Let's make sure that's all, yes. And so what we'll do is I'm just going to put that into this side to simulate the poles. What you should notice is straight away this is salty frozen water and immediately that starts to sink because the salt and the fact that it's cold means that it's more dense than the water in the fish tank. And what we should see a circular circulation pattern begin to move and you'll notice it appears to be it's the salty poles the salty water the cold dense water at the poles which appears to be driving this mechanism so you can see that the red food dye which has been heated in the water is starting to move towards the poles as a surface current and that cold dense blue water is starting to undercut underneath the red dye and this is the principle of thermohaline circulation.